Hey, it's down. So welcome back to my garage. And uh, so you saw me take the handguard off the Scorpion pistol. And it occurred to me that I really didn't show what all we're doing with this gun. Um, we did get a new handguard, uh, but that's not all we got. So this is actually turning into an SBR build. I've been waiting on the tax stamp for seven months. I turned it in uh, on purpose for testing purposes. I, I actually turned it in um, January 2nd, January 3rd, something like that. So we mailed it off and we've been waiting. Uh, by $200 did get charged. Um, it is a paper form since they don't do e-forms anymore for these. So we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Just a waiting game. So we'll show the parts. I have a stock and a vertical foregrip uh, that I'm going to put on it, um, but we, we can't put it on because that would be illegal. So we'll just go through the parts build and uh, show you what's going to happen. I will have videos installing the rest of them as we go along. All right, so there's the pistol as it stands now. Uh, the handguard, I still need to take the front sight and the charging handle off. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take the hand stop off or not. We'll see how it goes. Manicore arms, that's the transformer snub nose. Um, I actually picked up, it comes with these, uh, these plates. They aren't, in, they don't come installed, I installed them. But then I decided that I needed to get some Picatinny rails for it in order to mount a flashlight as well as that vertical grip. So I got two different sizes there. Uh, then we have the charging handle. I went with an HB Industries. I think this is the Theta. Might be the Delta. I don't know. One of them. But uh, there's the charging handle. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Oh, of course. Yeti Works. The extended um, paddle mag release. Uh, so the magwell funnel. This is actually going on to help with PCC use in USBSA. You know. Sometimes I really dislike myself. I put this in there so I wouldn't lose it with all my other CZ parts. Couldn't find it, so I bought more. Darn it. What else we got? All right, so everybody knows that grip is really kind of slick and it's angled. Um, I went with an Apex grip. It was a little bit more economical and still puts the grip at the right desired angle. Okay, what do we got here? All right, I think this is actually the stock and all the 9.2R parts. So there's the standard stock. I, I can't put that on. I can't put it on the gun, otherwise I go to jail. Because uh, it's illegal. What do we got? So we got the shorty grip. It is just empty on the bottom. I did not get the storage compartment one. It is a 1913, not an M lock or anything. So, uh, but that's what I got for the forward grip. And again, I can't put that on because the government says we can't put them on. And what do we got in here? Ah, uh, yes. HBI parts for the trigger. So everybody knows the trigger is notoriously, for, come stock, it's, it's pretty heavy. So since this is going to be a PCC competition gun, we got the trigger spring kits. Um, there's the flat face trigger. And we got that, the safety delete for the right hand side. So it's not digging into our fingers. Everybody in my family is right-handed, so no reason for the right-hand side. Uh, I bought the 922R kit, so 
The stock grip is a 922R part. Well, I mean, the grips are 922R parts, but I had to, um, in order to meet parts numbers, I got the 920R, 922R kit. So there's a American made one there, which won't be used because we got the Apex. Uh, there's a magazine coupler. These are, it's a magazine base pad and followers for, again, 922R compliance. Since it is a pouring and head gun. Uh, let's see. Okay. These components. This is a US made uh, flash hider muzzle device. It looks exactly the same as a stock one, it's just US made. Again, 922R. Disconnector, 922R compliance, and a US made trigger, but we won't be using it because we got that one. So there's a lot of. If you buy the 922R kit, but still plan on doing other modifications, you're going to end up wasting some money. Um, let's see, what else we got? Oh, hi. Those are basically just... There's 10 30-round magazines in there. Um, and... What this is, is a Scorpion magazine coupler. So what it does is it takes two magazines, couples them together to increase capacity. Again, that's for PCC competition use. Um, I plan on actually taking a 30 and a 20 and coupling them together to see how it runs. But that's what we're, uh, that's what we're building and the videos will keep coming. All right, so there you have it. That's the parts list for the SBR build for PCC use in competitions like USPSA. Um, hope you stay tuned and uh, watch the build process. It should be pretty fun. Now, why am I building this? Uh, well, it, basically it's for my kids to use. Uh, my two daughters, uh, one's 12 and one's 7, they, they like shooting, and I'm really hoping that it's functional enough for... Uh, them to go ahead and use in competitions. Uh, the seven-year-old is already shoot, uh, shooting an AR-15. She's shooting pistols. Um, so I'm really hoping that uh, it continues on and she can get some good action shooting uh, with the PCC in there too. All right, so stay tuned for more videos on the build process. I'll check you later. Out.